This is Simple Living with Beata. For the last year and a bit, I've been developing our 18 acres of raw land to build our dream home and homestead from scratch. This week, we're working on crucial steps of our shed to be able to store our tools here while we build our home. Right now, we're actually on our Christmas break after a huge snowstorm. We got so much snow overnight. Are you stuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I have video footage from a few weeks ago to be able to take this time off with my family. So let's head back a few weeks and get started. Good morning. So today I'm going to get to sheeting our shed and I have a special guest coming later today. Any guesses? And they're going to help me do this so much more quickly. It's more of a two person job when you're putting up these tall roof rafters anyways. up there and there's no nails in here. I'm back. <laughs> stuff is cool. Isn't it? See how I was talking about the ridges? Yeah. These ridges interlock and they have them on the other end as well. Oh, okay. So when the two ridges interlock, it actually stops the water from actually backing up under the, the shingle. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. This is better than one. I brought every tool I possibly could have. Thank you. Yeah, 227 and a half to 229. So it's an inch and a half out of square. This is the shorter of the two. This is the longer. So that means that we have to move that top that way. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put a board on the inside here and then we'll pull it over as best we can. Right there. That little bit that you're holding it is all it takes for everything to be thrown out of water. We're gonna call it good. We're gonna eat them an inch. Okay. Good job. So all of the bracing is officially up. I should have double checked my back wall doing the diagonal trick. I was just using a level, which doesn't work very well. So I wasn't off by too much, what, by like an eighth of an inch? Oh yeah, back's fine. She got lucky. <laughs> Don't ever trust a level. That is my number one thing that I've learned today. And we have the bracing on the inside so that we can put the OSB up on the outside. So. Is that what we're doing next? Oh no, we gotta do the top oh, plate. Finish top rail first. Okay. You're making scaffolding? That's insane. <laughs> it's strong. Trust me, it's not gonna break. Ah! You're, you're not heavy enough for it to break that. Are you yeah, sure? It barely even bows. Are we sure? Yes. Oh my 100%. gosh. I feel like I'm gonna die. Hundred percent. You're safe. I'd even go up there. Start your one end, nail your one end, and then you adjust the other end as you go. You're not gonna step on this at the same time as me, are you? I think we need to take a moment away from the epic music because I'm not feeling extra epic here. I'm actually terrified. You're safe, 100% safe. 
I'd catch you if you fell. No, you wouldn't. So we have all the top plates up and we're gonna have a little lunch now. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Cheese blueberry Cheese Danish. Cheese blueberry Danish. Woo woo. So you brought me a treat. <laughs> Guess what? I brought you a treat too. I'm so excited. Oh, that looks so good. Yes is an almond croissant, and this one is a maple pecan danish. Wow. <laughs> We're living it up building this shed. We're getting fat, too. <laughs> I've been so good the last two days. <laughs> That's it, though. <laughs> You'll be impressed. Mmm. That was really good. Isn't it? Craig and I just made a template for the roof rafters, which I've never done. So thank you, Craig. You're welcome. But then we're gonna get all them cut and put up. The template's done, everything looks good, and now we have to do eight more of those. Jig away. Thank you, Poppy. Say thanks to Craig. Thanks to Craig. <laughs> Bye. Adios. Forever. Happy Saturday. We are kid free, so I'm putting my husband to work. <laughs> oh. I need help with the OSB. Um, he injured himself at work this week, so he's probably not gonna be like lifting a ton of stuff. The first thing we're gonna work on is filling in the triangle section with studs that notch up into the rafters. So we're trying to figure out the angle of this little notch out that's gonna be going underneath the rafter, the stud that's going in this triangle piece here. Butt shot. Hey, 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 we did it. Hey, first try. for all up here really random it's not load bearing it's just gonna be annoying putting the osb up there not knowing where the studs are <laughs> it's just a shed biata i'm so smart he's making lines where our studs are
are gonna call it a quits for the rest of the day and enjoy the rest of our weekend. Yes, so we'll see you in a few days. Good morning, happy Monday. Today's a new day. We barely got anything done the last day we were here, but that's okay because today's a new day and Craig is gonna come and help me today. So we're gonna get the OSB up and we're gonna get the remaining shingle panels up. Oh, I'm so excited to clean all of this up and get it closed in. Noise. And his genius has set up this whole system. <laughs> Two by four scaffolding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It works. <laughs> oh. That was good. First panel up and break time. Yay, first lunch. <laughs> oh, treat. Piece of cake. Okay, folks, here she goes up on the roof to do her own paneling. You're going up the wrong ladder. That ladder. You push the board to this part. Yeah, that's it. Now crawl up. Eventually get to the point where you can actually grab the, the roof above you. I have boobs though, so... So I do I. <laughs> I can go from this side so I can hold it's on. It's not going to make a difference. Yeah, because I can hold on to something without you. There we go. With your left hand, hold the corner down. It's bottom corner. So was that hard? It's just really hard, the span of it, trying to get it all the way over. So yeah, definitely tricky, but probably easier than regular roofing. Craig. It's a little scary. And now we are on to the sheeting. So here we go. We have a pretty good system going on where he cuts and measures and I nail. <laughs> ah! Got you thinking though, didn't I?
<laughs> Finally. Thank you, looks Craig. Good. Looks like a building. It does look like a building. It also kind of looks like a big game of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> yeah, we could play. Yeah. Next up, I'm going to be filling in the little holes and stuff and then building the doors and moving in, basically. Yeah, a little bunky, you know, a little <laughs> bed, you know, a kitchenette. Anyways, thank you, Craig. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's video of continuing our shed build and next week we are going to complete it. And be sure to like and comment and subscribe. It's a huge help. And with that, I will see you next week.